We just got married. Mrs. Alphalete. Excuse mine, there's yeah. an accent on the A. So there's an accent on the oh A. Oh god. <laughs> we got kind of mad at each other. What up guys? Alright, I'm just gonna put y'all in these lines. <laughs> Hi. It's uh Mrs. Alphalete. <laughs> we are in the Grand Caymans. We just got married like a week and a half ago and we are still here. It is our honeymoon, so we are here till the 23rd. We got here on March 2nd, we leave on the 23rd. That is a long time to be in the Caymans. Come here, be with our family, get married, honeymoon, do all the things, and then go back home and grind mode. <laughs> grind mode doesn't work. And make a baby. <laughs> I, I set myself up for that. I am about to go to the gym. I want to be transparent. Look at this mess. Look at this mess. Whenever you guys are like, how do you have your life together? When is your life not a mess? It is always a mess. I'm just good at keeping my work organized, my head organized, but the rest of my life, chaos. We are gonna go get in a quick workout. Now upstairs in the gym here, we are staying at Caribbean Club. By the time this goes up, we'll be going. So Caribbean Club is our favorite place to stay at in the Caymans because it's three to four bedroom, like massive condos. So we use this room as our closet, very private beach one of my favorite places to stay. We did stay at the Kimpton for like a week and a half. Loved it, it was beautiful. A little, little crowded. It's definitely like, if you like to make friends on vacation, that is your spot. I mean, Christian are a little bit antisocial a little bit. We just like to spend quality time, just us two. So that's why we like staying at Caribbean Club. It's so quiet here. The Ivy Rot Bra is so cute. If you guys haven't shopped the Boyfriend Collection, it is one of my favorite collections we've ever done. Mocha Berry color. Look at this like purpley brown. It is chef's kiss. All right, I put on outfit and go. Okay, so outfit on the day is gonna be this Ivy wrap bra from Buff Night Collection. It's actually surprisingly very supportive because of this wrap detail right here. These are adjustable straps, which is nice. Ignore my sunburn. It has this little wrap detail. Hey. Hello. You ready yet? You're taking Babe, I'm showing them my outfit. Go to the gym. I'm showing them my outfit. Then I'm ready, I promise. Okay. okay, then I'm wearing the BBL leggings. These are in the very ice color. Um, they have the glute contour at the top, the little separation of the cheeks, little smile lines to flatten the glutes. If I was home right now and I wanted to wear a little bit of a layering piece, I would get the Mocha Berry boyfriend jogger and I would put them over it. See how it just kind of like ties in together with the sweatpant and the bra? So cute. But since it is so hot in the Caymans, I'm not gonna even try to layer this right now. Too spicy. We gonna find my shoes. I'm coming, babe. <laughs> Got my hair clip. And where's my shoes? Got my new balance. Are you ready? You've been waiting. I'm ready. Yes, let's go. I drank a pre-workout 20 minutes ago. No! Alright guys, so here is the gym at Caribbean Club. We got Smith machine, a little dumbbell rack, some benches, some more dumbbells. We got a cable pulley, some bikes, treadmill. Honestly, not a lot. We do like to go to World Gym whenever we're here. That's like our favorite spot. Uh, but the day passes are like 30 less dollars a day. So we try to switch. We'll try to do what we can here. I can do everything I need here at this gym. I don't need a lot. Um, him, on the other hand, he needs like big boy dumbbells and stuff. What size dumbbells do you use, I've been thinking about the store mode for days. How, I've been thinking about how they have it up here. And I've been tempted to go and grab it and use it. Why haven't you? It's kind of weird to go to the gym just for one mode. No, it's not. I do it all the time. I know, but yeah. Sometimes when I... Okay. That's the back right, right? Oh. It's the only one. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Where are you right now? 15 out of 10. It's like the day we got married. <laughs> Alright, so I was going to do a grounds workout, but since I'm working out with my husband, we're going to do legs together. See what he wants to do. Hey, hey. What's up, guys? I... 
I'm a wifey. Oh my God. I'm still not used to saying it. It makes me feel so grown up, even though we've been together for like <laughs> seven years or something. Okay. Anyways. Hi, it is my honeymoon and I am getting in a workout. I figured I would do this voiceover to just kind of chit chat a little bit about what I do on vacation to relax and what I do health and fitness related. So whenever I am on vacation, I really listen to my body. I don't go to the gym every day. I don't do hour and a half long workouts. The main part of vacationing to me is relaxing and that's exactly what I do. However, working out every other day, if that, 20, 30 minutes, it makes me feel good. This trip was especially nice because most of the days that I worked out, I would click on grounds, it's my fitness app, and I would just filter the workouts to do the quick 20 minute workouts. And most of the time I just did those. So I would go into the gym, filter it, click start. I didn't have to think much. I just followed the workout. I do wanna mention if you guys want to check out my fitness app grounds, we do have a free seven day trial. So y'all can do the workouts, programs, all the things for free. All right, moving on. Now that's, that's the fitness portion. That's the workout portion. Whenever I'm on vacation, when it comes to eating and drinking, I do have some drinks. My go-tos are either a whiskey with Diet Coke or a skinny margarita. I try to stay away from the super sugary, fruity drinks because they are packed with calories and they usually give me a headache, sometimes make me feel a little sick the next day. When it comes to food, I try not to eat complete junk the whole vacation. I try to have a bit of a balance where I'm eating, I don't know, 70% healthier choices and 30% dabble into the ice cream, the pastas, the cookies. At the end of the day, I work out, I eat healthy because I only have one body and I want to feel it the best way that I can, not just to look good. I mean, partly, yes, it is, it is to look good, but also to feel good. And that is one of the main reasons that I work out, that I eat healthy. This is just what I do and how I have balance during vacation. It's okay if yours doesn't look like mine or you shake things up a bit. Maybe you don't work out at all because this is your time to give your body a rest. You go, girl, whatever feels right. And that's about it. That's the workout, guys. That's the tea. That's the honeymoon. So hope you guys are enjoying the workout. You enjoy the rest of the vlog. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Comment below your favorite part because it really helps my channel out. I appreciate you guys. Enjoy the vid. All right, guys. Workout is done. Did my little leg workout. Did what I could on the Smith machine. That is what I call a shy girl workout, which I'm probably are gonna talk about in the voiceover. But if I don't have access to a lot of equipment or I just wanna do something quick, something like easy-ish, I try to do my whole workout for legs on the Smith machine. Now, Christian was like, hurry up, put your bathing suit on. Let's go to the beach, which I agree. So I just put my swimsuit on. I wanted to show you guys how beautiful this is. My fashion designers at Buff Bunny Collection made this for me. It is so beautiful. They actually hand beaded all of this beadwork on here. I thought it was so beautiful. So cute, look at that. It's got little pink, it's got little pearls because it's been like my kind of underlying theme of all my outfits with a little pink on there. It has a little crisscross in the front. It reminds me of the one, one of the ones that we designed for Buff Bunny Collection a long time ago. It has the back, my little sunburn back, and then it has the matching bottoms. I put a little, um, old school Buff Bunny collection cover up over it so I wouldn't be so cheeky because this one's pretty cheeky, which I love. I love, but not in the lobby when I'm going to the beach. So, also, little update I'm sure if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I always get really bad sunburns whenever I go to the beach. I will put sunscreen on, I stay out of the sun, but not bad. We've been here for what 20, not 20 days, like 18 days. Haven't got a sunburn until yesterday or the day before. So, I do have, oh, hello string. I do have a little bit of a sunburn on half of my body. So you see where the red is. You see it on my back. There was a little bit on the face, but actually it's funny because a lot of people are like, Heidi, why do you wear makeup to the beach? Sunscreen will only do so much on my face, but for some reason, doing an actual light foundation on the face will protect my skin more than SPF for some reason. I've tested this out. That is a look, guys. 
My theme has definitely been white this entire trip. I'm so annoyed. I'm having fun with the whole bride thing, as you should. Made it to the beach. Christian's already in the water. I'm hiding under an umbrella because the burn situation. But I picked up some sun bum cool down and some sun bum sunscreen. The only thing with the sunscreen is it's not mineral sunscreen. I'm gonna have to buy some of that later. Um, mineral sunscreen, fun fact, is better for the ocean. It's better for your skin. It's also better for your extensions. Uh, sometimes regular sunscreen can turn them like orangey pink. That's already kind of happening on mine because I used a bottle of this the other day. So I just made the accusation that the entire time we've been here, I don't think that this woman has finished one full drink. Like she yeah, drinks, no, she drinks like 10%, 20%, maybe sometimes even like 40%, but then the ice just melts and then she uses the, um, the excuse, it's just water, so she won't drink the rest. So I'm intentionally seeing if she can finish a drink. I've been pushing her and so far she's halfway. I've worked really hard to get this far. Let's go the whole way. Come on. That was really hard. I was tipsy that one down the beach. You can do it. Brunch. Stop, stop brunch. talking and start drinking. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Keep going. You can do it. You're almost there. You're, you've almost done it. You've almost done it. Keep going. Keep going. Yes! How do you feel? I got a burp. <laughs> I did it. You happy? Yeah. Now you have a shot on the way. No. 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 <laughs> tipsy Q&A. Not drunk. Oh, tipsy. Okay. It's classy. You should title it extra, t extra tipsy. I'll say Q &A. tipsy, tipsy. <laughs> Actually, tipsy. <laughs> Finally, caps. tipsy. Yeah. Hi, this is Christian Guzman, the husband of Heidi Summers. <laughs> <laughs> of Heidi what? Heidi Guzman. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. Not it's, not, cool. it's not Guzman, by the way. It's Guzman. There's yeah. an accent on the A. So There's an accent on the oh A. Oh God! <laughs> there is accent. Oh my God! There's an accent on our our last name, right? Oh man! All right. Okay. So I won't, I won't answer people if they're like Guzman. I'm gonna say. You're gonna. This not me. Do you remember in Alaska when you first came to visit? They were like Guzman. Guzman. Yeah. I was like, who's that? No, they said Guzman. Both are very incorrect. Yeah. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I've had two shots okay in my drink because i only drink skinny margaritas but they're doubles and they have salt and they're on the rocks with don julio blanco that's the way to drink heidi does crown it beats me who drinks dark liquor on the beach you know but she does i tried i tried the margaritas on the <laughs> they just hit her so hard they hit me hard i can't i was like no <laughs> i'm all about it but uh we ordered her a little shot because I was making fun of her for not actually finishing that first drink, but then she did finish that first drink. So we're in for a wild ride, boys and girls, okay? So she's gonna take that shot with a chaser. You said boys and girls. There's only girls that watch my channel, baby. There's like at least a few guys, because I'm in it, like 1% maybe. I will bet there's 1%. Half a percent. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're gonna put sand in this. Yeah, That's this is all she cares about, about yeah. today. My sister Jessica. This is a great gift. This. That's so sweet, right? Which sister gave us the sand on in the thing? That was really nice. Too. I know. So Summers in Alaska. Jessica Summers got us this. Jessica Violet, Violet Blogs, got us the little sand That's in there. That's so sweet. It's so sweet, right? Yeah. Do it. All right. Cheers. Ready? Okay. Cheers. Mm mm. Mm mm. What? Mm mm. You saw nothing. That's some BS. Yeah, I'm I'm That's messed up. Look at the beach. There's no other place like this. Did you tell me that you saw a whale? I saw something. Okay, I so I like, I listen. Let me talk. Let me they talk. Whales are big. Let me speak. We're like back. I'm in the room, and like maybe around here, not where the water's dark, but kind of like where that jet ski is. Honestly, if you can see that, maybe a little closer. But I saw. I swear on my life the back of an animal come up out of the water. I don't know if it, it looked like a whale. It is bigger than a dolphin for sure. And then it went back in and I saw like the shadow of it swimming pretty high on the sea level, but like this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, right? So I saw the back come out. Don't know what it was, but it happened. No one saw it, but it happened. Like a whale? Well, let's get the paddleboard and go check. It's a whale. Get the I'm gonna get the paddleboard. No way it's a whale. Why would not, okay. 
I don't think a whale can fit over there. Whales are big, big, right? Well, it's something. <laughs> All right, we've been at the beach for a little bit. Babe? Do you feel different now that you're a husband? You're not gonna be able to hear me from here. Yeah, I will. Yo. I feel more responsible for you. Yeah? Do you feel like you've done a good job? Yeah. What about the sunburn? That's a different type of responsibility. Yeah? Yeah, you can hold your own on that. Yeah. That's all your dumbass. You taking good care of me? Um, I would rate it like a, like an eight. An eight? Because I'm letting you get sunburnt. Yeah. The hell, man? You sorry? I, I apologize from the deepest part of my heart. Hi, sir, do you have all my sunglasses? Oh, wow, it's so close. Fun fact, I ordered a reception dress that never made it to the wedding, which is okay. I was like, you know what? If it doesn't make it, it's cool. But it did make it eventually. So, we're gonna go pick it up at the Kimpton. And you're gonna take me to dinner, right? To wear it? What? Are you gonna take me to dinner so I can wear my reception dress? We only have like two days left. We'll go Friday night. Celebrate our love. Talk louder. Celebrate our love. <laughs> To okay. celebrate our love, we're gonna, we're gonna. Wow, babe, why'd you restart? You had it. Just go with the original clip. To celebrate our love, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna fill this with sand. Ready? It says March 10, Christian and Heidi. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Together. Can I do it? We'll let me get this. Let it. me get the cleanest sand. Okay. That's a big scoop. Don't get any like dirt in it. Yeah. Wait, stop. All right, got it. Hold on. Hold on. You can do it. I know. Hold on, ready? Gotta make sure that it's gonna stick once we make it sticky. Yeah, okay. We only have one shot. Do not let your chance to, what's the m and Wow, that was so bad. You only got one, one shot. shot. Do, do not, not miss your chance to, to blow. To you blow. got one opportunity. Mom's That's wrong. Spaghetti. Yeah, you okay. Ready? Babe. Wait, no, there's gotta be a, there's gotta be an end. Oh. <gasps> okay. Wow. Yo! Yeah! Oh, babe, that's so sweet. Look. Oh, no, there's a little bit of... It's tough. No, but when you lay it flat, look, it's like, it's good. Yeah. That's so dope. It's hanging on the wall. It's up. It's not. It's perfect. How do you feel? I wish it was even. Yeah. All right, little update. I'm not sure what time it is. I'm guessing four. Babe, what time is it? Uh, 4.15. Wow, 4.15, I was on it. Sky, it's beautiful. The beach, incredible. My skin, burnt AF. My husband. Are you chilling, babe? He's chilling, doing a Q and A. All right, guys. Some time has passed. We are at Yoshi. This is one of our favorite restaurants. Christian loves sushi. I'm not a sushi person. I'm not a seafood girl. But uh, every once in a while, I will dabble in the spicy tuna. You say what? I'm saying that you're a you're a sushi boy. I'm a spicy tuna crunch on top, wrapped in a soy paper kind of guy. Yeah, he is. I'm a. I'm a grilled chicken girl. Oh, it's Thanks. packed. <gasps> Did you get a table? Maybe not. We might have to go back home. Really? No. You knew, but you didn't get us a table? I don't make reservations. I just beg for them. 
And they got no tables. <laughs> we got all dressed up. <laughs> Mr. I don't, I don't do reservations. No, I just beg for reservations. But How many times have we gotten kicked out of things? Remember the United Club? At recently? least four since we've been here. We have been kicked out of a lot of things recently. Well, I we just, just show up. They're like, no. It's not like, supposed okay. to be a busy island, you know. Remember the gym the other day, the bougie one? They were like a hundred and seventy-five dollars. That, that we weren't kicked out. Week. They just said stupid prices. Yeah, a hundred and seventy-five dollars U.S. per week. I was like, if you say a stupid price, like you're done. You know. So Froyo. Yeah, Froyo. Froyo. Then we'll order Yoshi and get it delivered faster than if it went there, dummies. Love that. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> Love you, babe. <laughs> you getting bibs? That's all I want. That's it? Here's mine. Mine. Christian's. <laughs> no dinner. <laughs> <laughs> no dinner. <laughs> Not yet. But we will. Alright. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Um. <laughs> so today was fun. We talked about politics for like three hours on the beach. We got kind of mad at each other. No, we didn't get mad. Okay, we didn't get mad. Speak for yourself. You got mad. You got mad. We don't have opposite views. We have similar views. But We're just having a conversation. Wait, was that even politics? A healthy conversation. I enjoyed it. About the world. I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, me too. But we're not we really talking that much right now. We're just kind of calming down. <laughs> and we're eating froyo. So <laughs> I've got Snickers and Reese's and peanut butter, chocolate, and vanilla ice cream. She just got vanilla and sprinkles. Basic bitch. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like our political views. Oh, but we are no, here no, no. and enjoying, enjoying the food. <laughs> Wrap the video up. We're done. Thank you very much. I we love, love you. We love <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If y'all would like to enter a giveaway, let's do a giveaway, babe. Whatever you want, it's your channel. All right, Go. we're going to give away $100 Alphalete gift card, $100 Buff Bunny Collection gift card. All you got to do to enter is give the video a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and comment below your favorite part of the video. So comment your favorite part of the video. It's me, guys. Duh. Okay? And then you will win. At least you'll win the Alphalete one if you comment me. No. No, I'll make sure that you comment on liking my, my political views. <laughs>